So let's look what's gone on this year and what's going to come up next year. Hi, my name's Rev Dan. I'm a vicar in the Church of England. This channel is all about following me around as I live at my calling uh, and what God's called me to do. And today I thought I'd quickly uh, look through the year that's gone on in my new role. So I, uh, in January 27th, I was licensed uh, to, so I started a new role basically at a, a new church. In fact, two churches, one in Chalfont St Giles and one in a place called Sea Green and Jordan's Holy Trinity. The name of that one, this one is Chaffin St Giles Parish Church. And um, I'm the rector of both parishes. There's two parishes and one benefits. Uh, here's a video of when I first started uh, in my new job explaining all of that. But now we've got um, a, a vicar who happens to be a friend down at Sea Green and I'm concentrating my, town, my time down here at St Giles. Um, so we moved down uh, nearly a year ago, uh, uh, a year ago we moved uh, at the beginning of January into this house, uh, into a new role and uh, so my life has, has been busy for my previous role and, and into this role uh, there was kind of some in a sense restrictions in my previous role that uh, I didn't record um, and then coming here starting a new job I, I didn't record that much um, and I really wanted to get back on that, into it and I missed it and, and now I'm starting again um, to record because there's so much going on and, and there's so much going on, good stuff in the church, really good stuff and it's to show people some of the good stuff, we're just one church of many um, getting out there and living out our faith um, in, in the most incredible time at the moment uh, for so many people, never been through this um, with the economic crisis, the, the prices is, crazy and they have been and coming out of coronavirus and even today looking there's the whole thing coming out of china with coronavirus and so we never lived in in, in such a time you know what's it 10 15 years 15 years ago we had the credit crunch uh, but that was for a short time this is continuous and other things so look at what the church does look what i do in my life and also there's so many issues coming up that we need to speak into um and speaking to not just one of those loud voices, but speaking to uh, kind of a thought and from a Christian point of view. And, 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 and in a sense, uh, the Christian voice has been lost in society. Uh, the church that I'm in, the Anglican church, is really split over a range of things. Uh, and that's that's a big thing to speak about next year. And that'll be coming up in January, February. Um, about where we are going as a church. So, you know, I, I like to get... An, uh, to show the good news, uh, but also uh, speak into some of these uh, things that are just going on from a Christian and church perspective. So anyway, that's the, uh, in a sense, one of the reasons why I, I, I didn't want to record or couldn't record. And and then I started recording and then realising actually in my role, um, it's so busy and, uh, you know, I really need to think how I can record and show things when you, you're the main person doing uh, a lot of the things. So anyway. So we moved down here, just looking at the videos that I, I, I released, uh, did a video, as I, I said already, about my new job. We, we had the Queen's Jubilee, which was absolutely great. It's great for us as a church um, to get out. Um, it's one of the first public, uh, big public things that we got to do. Um, it was a, an extraordinary time. The link to the video is just here. Extraordinary time in, in our nation as uh, we, you know, uh, our queen was on the phone for 70 years it's, you know it's absolutely unheard of uh, and and not to be repeated for many 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 generations and so we were there and, and, and being involved uh, as a church in those celebrations was absolutely fantastic because you remember the queen and now the king is the head of, of the church of England and so we played that integral part in that Um I went to so every two years I went to uh, my clergy conference um, uh, got cancelled because of COVID, so this is first one, um, and uh, and just showing a bit about uh, getting away um, uh, as a whole, all these hundreds of vicars and going there to this conference and, and kind of being ref refreshed and renewed and and that and that was good. It was good to get away. Uh, we'll see what happens with that in the future. Um, we, the church down the bottom there did a video about their 
175th birthday. Um, so that was built by actual a, a, a vicar put the money, stepped up most of the money for the church down there. And they celebrated 175 years. Most of the churches we have in Church of England are whole old historic churches. The one that is in St. Giles is well over 800 years old. Uh, so this one was built 175 years ago. So that's, you know, and they're, and they're different buildings as well uh, and the way they're built and the, and the space that they use. So that was great. Sue, um, my friend Sue uh, got ordained. And uh, so that's where she became a priest. And I went to her ordination, which was absolutely great. Um, I, um, same place that I got ordained. In fact, she went to do her training, curacy, where I did my curacy. Obviously, Sue was going to be my curate because I moved away down here. Uh, she became a curate in Princess Risborough with David and my old training company, and she's doing really well. Uh, what else? Uh, the videos we got um, Queen's death that and uh, that time and morning and, and and what we did, which was an extraordinary time, and again a time for the church to find its place. Um, as a nation came and and so many people around that time questioned um, what life was about it really rocked the nation it really um it, a lot of people had a lot of questions and I spoke to a lot of people uh, during that time uh, and after um, and it's a real special time in that sense and and then watching the funeral on 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 the tv it, it was just so you know such an amazing thing but also you know, taking funerals, it was a, the burial of a a family member, a, a much-loved family member, but also a much-loved person for the country. And, you know, we'll reflect next year on her first anniversary about how much she impacted this nation and the world and, and the Commonwealth. And, you know, it's an extraordinary time to live through. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a really uh, special time to be there uh, as a church for the community. Um, I did an update um, why I've been off YouTube. <laughs> I did that on November the 10th. Uh, why am I being off YouTube? Uh, because, um, as I said, things would be busy and uh, going forward. And then, oops, I did it again because <coughs> I wanted to... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to... Um, record stuff that was happening over Christmas but obviously it just didn't happen it was just so busy and I got ill as well a horrible flu so, but I'm over it now which is great um, but this year has been amazing and amazing for us as a church we've we've uh, gone through a lot of change already um, in November we had this big meeting of the leadership and we voted to change the structure of uh, uh, the stuff uh, uh, of the church and other stuff the committees we had committees to make it work better more efficiently and uh, we then changed the vision the mission and the values of the church which is really exciting uh, so going into next year we've got a really clear vision of where we want to go and who we want to be and then we also changed the service time so we we expanded our services um, which is also really exciting. So next year we got we got a lot more service to go to do more work, but it offers to people different flavors of worship to come to, and that's going to be really exciting. And the church is growing uh, already, which is really really exciting. You step out in faith and say, God, uh, let's do this, and and I know it's uh, Him who will working with Him uh, as well. He will send people. So. That's a bit going into next year, really exciting about what's going to be happening. So, um, going into next year, so you'll follow me as, as a lot of stuff has changed in the church, which is great. Um, and now it's just kind of just doing the everyday stuff, you know, and, and think about how we can engage with our parish more and, and, and do more things and, and, and get the good news of Jesus Christ out there, um, which is. A message of hope uh, and his saving grace which is really needed in these times um, so how we do that how we engage with people that's going to be really uh, a really exciting thing um, and also with, with us as a church here an Anglican church there our bishops have gone off for three weekends well they've gone off they've had the second one <coughs> three retreats sorry not weekends they got one more in January and they're going to decide 
um, what they're going to do about they call it this living in love and faith it's basically it's all about gay marriage and what they're going to do with that and what's going to be taken to our general synod in February which really could affect the church uh, could really divide the church I don't think they're going to go really extreme in anything but um, it they could try to appease it's one of those where they try to appease everybody and, and then they don't appease nobody so um, it's they're going off in January and, and I, I have heard that the location where they're meeting is, is being kept secret which you know it's a bit strange <laughs> for a church um, so we'll see in January what they're going to put forward and so that will really have a big impact on the Church of England potentially potentially so that that's something to be looked out for um, and then talking into that as well talking into that a bit further because the Church of England is having conversations but they really had conversations and really got down to the nitty gritty when you talk about changing doctrine um, and a lot of other things you know at the moment it's all about that um, instead of speaking really out about the cost of living crisis um, you know that's what's going to affect most people and I hardly hear anything about that I and mean, we might be speaking out it's just the the press don't really care about that but uh, we have to shout louder and make it known where we are in our parishes so that's uh, an, another thing so it's, it's going to be more exciting um getting um get more content out there looking at these issues many many issues um thinking about how to do new content and using some of the equipment better that i've got uh, and creating shorter videos as well for instagram and and, and youtube and that uh, and being more present on, as well on other social media so a lot more planning in a sense for me um, so that'd be great really good so there you go there's a quick review of the year and also I might do some live videos so that we will we'll see we'll see um, a quick review of the year what, what's happened um, and what's going to happen going forward it's really really exciting time really exciting time um, but also quite a desperate time for so many people and it's holding those two things in balance and um, but that's what the church is here for so what the church has always been here for you know the world's a broken place it's never been felt so much at the moment and uh, the good news of Jesus Christ is here oh and it always will be and so the other two things are my other two channels are uh, revved up sermons from the saddle recording uh, go through the book of mark um, and, and and just doing sermons from as i'm riding around on my bike one a week coming out which is really exciting and two things that i love riding my bike and i'm just preaching for the heart no notes no script just what's in my head uh, in that sense what i can remember and so that's real you know unscripted and uh, fulfilling life which is <clears throat> something of a passion of uh, a weekly devotional um, really encouraging people in their Christian life to live their life to the fullest as Jesus uh, wants us to but also holding on to those things that we live in a broken world and Christianity doesn't fix everything uh, and speaking into those things so lots and lots and lots going on so really exciting uh, things and um, yeah come on the journey for next year See you soon.